Hey guys, welcome to another video for an introduction to Gaming in Linux. Today I will be doing the Zera, which only a couple of days ago the beta was released for Linux and a few certain people were picked depending whether they chose to join a group or not on the Zera. I'll give you more information on that in a minute. Okay, so first of all let's say if you didn't know already I have a blog. So take a look at it if you can. I'll link it up to my description so if you like it like plus one and stuff be, be very grateful if you did that and moving on to Zura if you never knew that they were coming to Linux then you do now <laughs> a couple of days ago I made a blog saying that you know I'll look forward to Zura coming out on Linux and mentioned you know about Steam and all the rumours about that and stuff. But yeah, in, in a way there is similarities of Steam in Zura by, like, this is it here, by, like, you know, the interface and stuff. It's, it is in some ways similar, but it, you know, it's, it doesn't look like they copied them or anything like that, so. The difference between Zura and Steam is Zura is like, it allows small developers it gives them a chance to showcase their game to a, a big audience whereas Steam it requires people to already have a name for themselves for them to sell that game and earn money from it basically whereas Desert gives them that chance so basically if you know you ha have a game and you're making one then put it on Desert and we'll a lot of people will be able to download it whether or not they'll be on Linux or not then I'm not too sure hopefully it will help small developers to realize the potential of Linux etc etc and bring them out so if you notice on Zero's website we've got a little Linux penguin up here yay and it did that happen then? what am I doing? Linux you're now browsing on Linux compatible games so if we go and play games it will show all the games like new games, most popular, on sale, etc. etc. So if you go browse all, you get to see all the games which are on Linux up to now. Which seems like quite a lot actually, I never noticed this second page as well. A lot of them are actually free games, like I noticed that Exotic is on here. Urban Terror, there you go. Urban Terror is free. Also I activated my Humbling the bundle games onto my account, so I had a few games as you can see, and found out that the install, the downloader basically is quite quick with 500 kilobytes plus a second download. So you basically get a couple hundred meg gain down it within a couple of well, 10 to 20 minutes, really. For example, I got the Steel Storm, which is like about 700 meg, I think, and I got that down in approximately 20 minutes, which is very good actually. So yeah, you can buy like games on here. So if you just go on here, have a look at Oil Rush. Average rating nine out of eight. So you can like rate your games here. Let's just go like that. And just say what you think about it. Good game. Let's go say a review. So there you go. It's got like a lot of comments here saying what people think about it news so oil rush news this is for most of the games anyway, as well it's got like all these there you go there's me saying good game <laughs> so it's got all the reviews on here about what people think about it seems I'm like the only person who's actually reviewed it <laughs> it's got videos on there I'm just gonna say that it crashed before so I'd rather not go on it again it, that was like the only problem I've encountered up to now. It's got a few images here. Oh, that looks quite cool. But as I was saying, that's the only problem I've encountered, so, yeah. The difference uh, that Steam doesn't have is this ranking up system they have. As you can tell, I've only just joined, so I'm level 1, and I think when you post links to people, no, post a comment on people's profiles like here, you get a couple of points and you level up. I'm not too sure what happens when you level up and stuff. And here, friends. I've got no friends. Aww. <laughs> so if you want to add me, then just add me. 
If you want to be in for a chance of getting the beta of the game, then join this group here, Desura. I'll post the link to my description. So just like it, it should be yeah, yeah there. It says join this group. Well, it says leave, but I've already joined it. So you want to join that, and they might, you know, message you in the next couple of days. If it took them like a day to message me, which was pretty cool. And you download a tar GZ, which you extract, and you run the X, the not the XE, the executable file within there. It's not an executable file. It's just run the file that's in there basically <laughs> and it automatically starts upgrading to Zura and places a shortcut in here pow there and then you have to type in your profile name and login basically and then you get all this Yum. hopefully I'll build up my games collection soon hopefully bring out a lot more games and stuff so my first thoughts of this is that it's really good. I hope you know this helps Linux get get a few more games than originally planned. You know, it might be just, you know, a couple of indie games, but it's better than nothing, you know what I mean? Support beta release feature request game request. Hmm yeah so I think you can actually message Desura and say what you think is good and stuff and tell them what to do. Some reason Steam's there. So yeah, I just show a game. I think the sound wasn't working with my record my desktop video. So if my sound stops, and um, thanks for watching my video and goodbye. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just show you running a game. And there's it running. Hopefully, it hasn't stopped working. Sound. Uh, so yeah, random error. Don't know what that's there for. Random log. Didn't because it did work properly. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.